feathers, flowers, snowflakes, and stars. Marlon Joe works magic in bringing an artistic touch to an unexpected medium, hair. MTN's Jackie Coffin has the story of this Billings barber who's making waves in a world of fades and hard lines. Elite Barber has earned a reputation in Billings for its fresh haircuts with a unique twist. As the shop celebrates its second year in business, I sat down with co-owner Marlon Joe to hear about his journey through hair. Your first impression like of somebody you've seen them is the, how they look. Con first contact your eyes. Once you see the eyes, then you go down and go around from the face and the hair, and he's got a nice haircut as it goes a long way. No matter what else was going on in Marlon Joe's life, barbering always seemed to follow him. I started cutting when I was a sophomore in high school, and that was the year 2000. I remember my dad just gave me a pair of clippers and said, here, learn how to cut your own hair because I got too picky of him cutting my hair. I just learned on my own, basically. Joe grew up in Crow Agency and joined the Army out of high school, ultimately serving three combat tours in Afghanistan. Yeah, like that's where I basically learned most of all kind of haircuts to do was uh, just because I had, you know, army guys always want a nice and clean cut. I was even cutting overseas on the si uh, side of a mountain uh, side in Afghanistan on my first tour. And because like I had my pair of clippers with me everywhere I went. Joe perfected clean cuts on a mountainside in Afghanistan, but it was at powwows back home hard. that he started turning haircuts yeah. into art. Are you good at it? We used to hit the power shows and, and everywhere we go, everywhere, like the feathers and all the kids. And I don't even have to look at a picture anymore because I just remember how to do it. <laughs> usually, my clients usually know what they want, but like design-wise, if they if bring me whatever, I'll I'll put it on. A, I'll I'll put it in there. Out of the army and with a career as an X-ray technician lined up, Joe decided to move in a different direction in the pursuit of his passion. Well, it's just like finding a, your own plant and watching it grow. Owning his own shop is a dream, but it's allowed Joe to mentor a new generation of barbers, and he wants to build on that idea. I uh, also want to do my own barber school, because there's no really barber school in Billings right now, and I feel like I got more to offer into the barber world and to Billings, to Montana, like basically to, you know, you know, put Montana on the map. Joe says if you want to learn the trade, just give him a call. In Billings, Jackie Coffin, MTN News.